Lagos by the Medins as the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party in Lagos. He's been here before. What is his fate this time around? PDP members want the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to declare the party's candidate Ademola Adelike winner of the just concluded Austrian State Governorship election, and there was a scuffle. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Shimon Kimbaloye in Lagos. It is 133 days to the 2019 general elections. New candidates are emerging, and we have details of who has newly joined the race in the general election. In the meantime, the Convention Committee of the All Progressive Congress, APC, is reaffirming its commitment to hold a peaceful special presidential convention in Abuja with 7,000 delegates from across the Federation. The deputy chairman of the committee and governor of Bruno State, Mr. Kashim Shetima, explains that the party is working towards resolving all issues arising from the primaries in order to present a formidable team at the general election. Let me assure you that the nomination and ratification of his candidacy is a commitment to steady, progressive, and positive change. Despite some of the problems we have encountered during the primaries in our various states, the National Working Committee of the party is working assiduously to resolve all the issues. This is a family quarrel, and we are going to sort things out amicably. I don't want to dwell on the achievements of the government. The achievements are there for everyone to see. So I want to dwell more on the convention. And we are expecting to host about 7,000 delegates from across the length and breadth of our great country. And all necessary arrangements are in place to ensure a smooth convention. Well, let's tell you about some other stories that we are following for you here at Top Political Stories. We're tracking at this time. Former executive director of Niger Delta Development Commission and political leader in Bielsa State, Chief Timi Alaibe has been formally received back into the People's Democratic Party. Chief Alaibe and his supporters were received into the PDP fold by the governor of Bielsa State, Siriaki Dixon, who said their departure from the All Progressives Congress has signaled an end for the APC in the state. What is important is what is ahead of us, not what has gone by. And just want to assure you all that you are all valued leaders of our party once again. Chief Alaibe dismisses the political presence of the APC in Bielsa State ahead of the forthcoming elections. For political expediency, we moved to the APC. Today we are back. We are coming back home as the job people to support the development efforts of our state and our people. In an Ambra state, the National Assembly primary elections of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, ABGA, have held in the three senatorial districts and 11 federal constituencies. And while the senatorial primaries are conclusive, the House of Representatives primary election turns out conclusive in eight constituencies, inconclusive in two constituencies, and no election in one. Iala and Oyi Ayamedlum federal constituencies are inconclusive, while Inewi North and South federal constituency had no election. Senator Victor May, current senator representing Anambra Central, gets the party's ticket. An aggrieved parent, Mr. Ifayuba, had earlier stormed the Ekolobi Stadium, the venue for the primary with his delegates, and expressed displeasure over his sudden disqualification, having been cleared during the screening. He vows to go to court to contest the anomaly. We were screened in accordance with the party constitution and electoral guidance. For that, it means that 
everything within the party constitution and electoral guidance has been met. So if they have uh, screened and cleared me from the screen, I don't know who else. The candidate of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, in the just concluded Oshu governorship election, Senator Iyola Mishuri, has explained the reasons behind his support for the All Progressives Congress during the rerun election. He gave the explanation at a town hall meeting held with the party members in Oshogbo, the state capital. Omishori says he gave his support to the APC to have a coalition government which will birth development in the state. He added that there is no aota of truth in the rumor that he has collected money from the ruling party and he only gave his support because the party accepted to work with the blueprint of the SDP. Our resource to work together in all spheres of the economy, because we pass education, education, and he attested and confirmed their readiness to cooperate and work in line and tandem of the dictates of the coalition. Well, tonight uh, on the menu, we have loads of stories lined up for you. Let's begin uh, with uh, some of the breaking news we brought to you earlier on Channel Television. The governorship primary of the People's Democratic Party in Lagos has been concluded. And Mr. Jimmy Agbaje is a candidate of the party. At the end of the exercise, Chief... Agbaje had a total score of 1,100 votes. And the runners of engineer Adedeji Lukbenga Doherty had a healthy 742 votes. Mr. Agbaje emerged the governorship candidate of the party. He polled 1,100 votes to defeat his rival, Adede Jidoherty, who polled 742 votes in a party's primary election. A sense of relief. Um, one phase is over. Uh, now the major phase is uh, on. So, yes, it's, it's a sense of relief that that is over. Um, as you could see, it was clearly contested. Uh, it had its own ups and downs. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, we came out with the result. And, uh, so, I'm thankful, thankful to God that I won. 